Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I am here with my final design team project for the month of July. And um, I wanted to share first some of the goodies that I used. Um, I won't be able to show everything I don't think because some of them I used <laughs> the majority of it. Like this beautiful trim right here, this purple and white uh, pleated organza. This is all that I have left from that trim because I used the remainder of it on this project. Um, I also have who oh, maybe um, a foot left of this trim which I absolutely love and this is this beautiful pearl trim here. I also used one of my all-time favorites this organza pleated polka dot trim. And then something that is brand new to the store, which I altered, um, is some of that silver disc mesh bling. That is this here. I used um, some of this on my project. And then I also used some of my favorite doilies. Um, and I'll have to share those on the project because I only had half of one that I cut up left. So, um, what this is, this is one of those, uh, like fruit baskets essentially that you would, uh, take to a farm and like pick and put tomatoes and things like that. Um, my, my neighbor had a little yard sale across the street and I saw this and I thought it would be super cute altered and filled with goodies so that's what I did and I paid two dollars for it which was more than I wanted to but I also got a shelf to alter and um, he only charged me a dollar and he was asking nine for it so to me it balanced out I paid a little bit more for this than I wanted to but um, I think it came out super adorable so basically what I did um, I just did the entire thing twice and then um, on the inside, this is actually like a pale lavender color. I painted over with Martha Stewart satin, um, satin paint, which I love. I got it on clearance, and I love this paint so much. I love the, the pastel colors. And then here on the outside itself, I also gessoed. And um, on the main portion of the basket, I alternated by painting in a buttercream um, ivory color from Craft Smart, and then also Artichoke and Lavender from the Martha Stewart Satin Paint Collection, and I really, really love it. So it's got a mint, white, ivory, and purple um, slash lavender theme to it. And here along the top, this is where I utilize that um, white and lavender uh, pleated trim. And I also um, utilized that silver uh, disc mesh bling. But what I did was I gessoed it. And then in the center of it, I used a um, lavender color of Perfect Pearls. The liquid pearls. I used that in the center of all of the discs. Just to give it some dimension and... Um, to counteract the gesso, the matte feel. And then here I use some, um, I'm sorry, you can see I have gesso and paint all over, but I use this beautiful um, polka dot organza trim here along the center. And then I also use some of this beaded trim from my stash that I love to use in the center of this organza trim. And then here you can see I utilized some of that pearl trim that I shared, the majority of what I had left. And then here what I did was I cut these doilies, which are all from Craft Supplies 1, um, and all of the trims I shared are from Craft Supplies 1 with the exception of this one. And I cut them in half and then I just did like a scallop, a scallop design along the bottom of the basket. And then these little blings here are just some that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're like a floral bling on a stem. I just cut those off and then just glued them in the center of the doilies just to give it some bling. 
and some extra embellishment. And I have really, really been loving um, going back through my Craft Supplies One stash and incorporating old and new goodies, um, but all of these are still available to my knowledge um, because the majority of these trims are rather new. And then here on the top of the basket, what I did was I just um, custom sprayed and uh, misted and distress stained some um, seam binding. And then I also used some white just to make like a shabby bow. And I have this done um, in several different colors, the white, um, a purple, and a green of the distress stains. I really love the white distress stain. It's really neat and it is very opaque so um, it works very very good. And then I just made a little shabby bow there and this does stand up but you can also lean it down. So that is my beautiful pastel um, altered fruit basket and I really really love the way it came out. I think it's going to be super cute filled up with goodies or trims or handmade flowers. Um, I haven't decided yet because um, I am doing a swap with somebody with a pastel theme so I may send this to her. I'm not sure because um, this would kind of be difficult to ship but I really really love it and I just want to let you guys know there is also a sale going on um, now through the 30th so tomorrow night it's 30% off the entire store on Etsy. Um, you just have to use the code um, July 30th so you have to run if you want to take advantage and get any of these beautiful goodies excuse me or any of the other items that I shared in my design team package or that I have previously shared you can get 30% off now through the end of tomorrow night so you have to run and use the code July 30th again on the Etsy shop um, and that is it for now, guys. I hope you enjoy. Please let me know what you think down below, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye!